the skills to cook simple food and the time to do it, you can eat very economically, even, even if you're poor. Um, the problem is, I think, skills is one, and time is another. And time is a real challenge, and the poor have very often have less time because they have longer commutes, and they often have more than one job. Um, and that really complicates uh, cooking. Um, but I think cooking is made easier by, as I said, being habitual, um, something you're doing more nights than not, so you shop, you fill your refrigerator. Um, and also by sharing work. I mean, a, a huge problem with cooking was that it was, it was a, a woman's get-up in, in the kitchen. And, and a key to solving this problem for the society is getting um, everyone into the kitchen, uh, uh, husbands and children. Very important for children because they also learn. And when you do that, when you share the work, or even share the work among in your community, I mean, there are many. You know, I know I know families that you know three or four families that get together, and one will cook for all four families just one night a week, and then they have a, a meal that they get from the others for the other three. I mean, there's one way to do it. Um, so we have to be really more creative about this. But I really do think cooking can help solve the money problem. Because cooking is economical, especially if you do it every day. If you do it one day a week, you're going to throw out a lot of stuff. Because what do you do with the rest of that bunch of celery or whatever it is? You know, it languishes in the fridge. Um, but, but I think that cooking regularly um, helps with the whole issue of um, how do you afford to eat well.